Hey, what's up? I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you guys the Xfinity TV app on Roku. Um, I have a Roku 4, which is last year's 4K model. Um, and I've previously tried out PlayStation View, which is a service I actually really like, but I found myself not using it really enough to justify paying for, so... I have internet through Xfinity, and it includes a pretty basic cable package. And I didn't know if this was going to work, but it let me right in. So, let's check out the Roku app. So, you open it up here, and it has On Demand, which I don't know if this is the full On Demand library or not. Um, but, you can see here they've got movies and TV and I spent a little bit of time digging around this app runs a little weird compared to uh, I don't know it seems like it's going all right now um, but actually let's see one of the things I was actually considering looking for on here is uh WWE stuff but it does not appear to be on here that's fine I could catch up on Mr. Robot uh let's go back but the thing I actually thought to be pretty cool was uh the live TV so this seems to basically take the place of your cable box which the box they gave me was hot trash. The only weird thing here is that uh say let's like open up ABC World News here. You open it and it's in standard definition so not great giant black borders you know low res. It'll get the job done if you really want to watch something but not ideal. So what I did find though is if you hold this down button in for a very long time you eventually get to HD feeds of the channels which to me is interesting because I'm not paying for a, uh, an HD service from Comcast I just don't watch that much regular TV um, I use Hulu for a lot of stuff like I'll watch wrestling the day after on Hulu and that's fine but here we go uh you know say I want to watch NBC here I hit OK gives me a description I can hit watch and it takes a second but it loads right up looks decently good so um and it seems to function fairly well um it's definitely, as far as Roku apps go, it's, I don't know, it's a little slow, but it seems better than some of the other ones I've used. It's definitely better than the cable box that Comcast gave me, which is straight up just not very good. Uh, yeah, Comedy Central loaded up pretty quick. Um, this is not bad, like... I don't know what it would cost extra in my subscription to just use this once it's out of beta. Because right now I'm definitely getting channels and service that I do not normally have. So here's hoping it stays in beta for a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, oh, I didn't even think to look. It does not look like we have like the local regional sports channels on here. Which is a bummer. That's like one of the only things I would actually want to watch. Uh, but yeah, this is not bad. I mean, it's a small smattering of uh, channels, but it includes stuff that I would actually watch. Um, so, I don't know, you can do also by sports. Let's see. Alright. So yeah, what's on now? Uh, that starts at 7. 
can. Let's see if this works because I do not get the channel the pens are on. Man, I didn't like that. Let's see. It doesn't seem to know what to do with these sports things, so. I mean, this is beta, so. That's fine. Let's go to movies real quick. Yeah, it doesn't. From the regular guide, it seems to load things fine, but when it comes to this, like, Netflix style uh, view, tune into things it I don't know doesn't seem to know what to do let's try one more yeah it just goes to a black screen that's pretty weird but anyway that's a uh, quick tour of the uh, Comcast Xfinity app beta on uh, on Roku here seems promising uh, We'll see how it turns out.